Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Terranova and today I am bringing you the very first part of a brand new series on my channel and it's been quite a while since I've had a series like this on my channel but this is going to be a let's play specifically centered around the new expansion pack city living so uh, yeah so as you might have guessed these are my two sims for my LP and yes they are both girls because I've said it before I can't make guy sims I just can't. But anyways, anyways, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what this LP is going to be like and what to expect from it. And then I'll introduce you to my two lovely ladies here and show you around their apartment. But uh, basically, basically this LP is going to be strictly for fun. I really don't have any just... I don't have time to just play The Sims anymore. It's always, if I have enough time to play, I'm usually recording for a challenge. So this series is going to be a little different than my challenges on my channel. There are no rules except for two. And <laughs> I know, right? No rules except for two. The first rule is that, uh, well, basically this is supposed to be for fun. So it's going to be... I, d I don't know. It's going to be basically centered around the City Living expansion pack, but it is my series, and I'm just going to play like I would in my own personal series. I'm just here to have fun, and I want everyone to remember that the series is just for fun, but if you have any suggestions for things to do in it, or if you have sims to add, or places to go, or you know something on the gallery that would be cool to be added in, let me know, and I'm going to try to incorporate your guys' ideas as best I can, and it's just basically going to be, that's the main thing, is it's going to be for fun, and just to reacquaint ourselves with the basics of The Sims 4 and the fun that we can have in it. And the second rule is that there is no set schedule. So I'm going to be very strict um, when recording. They're only going to be about 20, 22 minute long parts. So if we end in the middle of a party, that's where we're going to pick off in the next part. We're not going to just go through an entire day. We're going to see where it leads us. And uh, don't worry, I'm not going to start the timer for this part until after I'm done talking your ears off. But uh, that's my plan, and I'm just going to be playing this. I'm probably going to be recording in a block anyways, recording a few parts. So I'm going to upload this when I feel like playing it. So there's no set schedule to that either. But enough of the blabber talk. Let me introduce you to my two sims here. First up, we have put the walls down here. We have Kiara Morris. So uh, Kiara is a little, she's, she's a humble girl. Okay. She, uh, she likes, you know, the high end fashion of the city, but she's also very, very conservative, I would say. And, uh, she's a little shy, but she, uh, is a vegetarian, which is one of our new traits. She's a geek and she is ambitious. And of course she has a quick learner trait from the computer whiz. Uh, aspiration that she has and she has decided to move to the city with her best friend Gwen because well they're not really best friends but we can work on that right uh, she wanted to move to the city to pursue her lifelong dream of making it big in social media so she's gonna be our social media sim uh, that is one of the new uh, careers that came with the expansion pack and over here we have Gwendolyn Barajas and uh, she has the new aspiration, City Native. So I haven't looked at that at all yet. It's going to be exciting. We're going to try to complete that with her. She is self-assured. She's an insider and she is a perfectionist. And uh, she has the home turf, which is the new trait that was given for choosing the City Native. So uh, that will be fun. And you might be wondering, Tara, why didn't you make either of them unflirty? That's the other new trait. Well, I have another sim that I placed in this town. And um, I, made, uh, I made them unflirty. And they may or may not have a romantic interest relationship with one of our girls. So uh, they don't explicitly live with us, but they are kind of a main... I wouldn't say main character. They're like a string two character in our series but anyways you'll meet them in all good time i haven't played these girls at all yet except to um introduce them to this third uh, mystery person and to give that mystery person a key to our apartment but anyways let me give you the grand tour this is the building i decided to move us into i think this is the culpepper building I believe. Well, anyways, this is uh, what it looks like when we walk in. A lot of mismatching furniture, and I didn't change any of the cupboards or appliances. Like, 
Like you don't just go ahead and buy all new, you don't buy all new things when you move into apartments. So I try to keep that pretty, pretty uh, standard to what it really would be like. I have this messy food stain on the floor. We've got empty cans and open cereal boxes and this pile of dirty dishes in the corner. And over here, we've got our mismatching furniture. We did splurge and get the big TV and the gaming system, which is also new, and this keyboard, which let's be honest, that's just fun. And uh, then we have our bathroom over here. It's pretty basic. It, they gave us this awful awful green toilet which we're just gonna keep i really didn't change it much i just added a couple things in there to make it a little more homey and over here we have kiara's bedroom so uh, i tried to keep it pretty simple with her she likes her candles she likes her whites with navy blue and I uh, got some big paintings. She's got some clothes on the floor because she just can't be bothered to put them away. And um, she also has her little computer desk over here. Not a lot of fun things on it. As you can see, I spent all of our money furnishing our apartment. So we only have 19 simoleons left. And uh, we've got this big awesome wall of new posters that I think are new. Anyways, Kiara has access to the balcony as well. And then over in this door, door number two, we have Gwendolyn's room and her room is way more colorful. Look at this. So a lot of this stuff came with the new pack, including this luggage, which I think is one of my new favorite end tables. But I really wanted to try to capture some of the cultural heritage that the two girls have. So for Gwyn, you can probably tell, but she's very into fashion. So she's got a lot of very chic outfits and looks. And she likes to incorporate her traditional, like, I don't know. I wanted to utilize what came in the expansion pack. So she she takes a lot of the traditional African themes and makes them very modern in fashion. And she does that to her room as well. So we've got this beautiful elephant mosaic. And not mosaic. Picture? I don't know. The frame is weird but it's cool. All right, we've got this peacock. We've got little elephants down here. Just lots of bright, fun colors. More elephants down here. I don't know. I have a thing about elephants. I really, really, really like all of the elephant stuff that came in here, but she's really into fashion, so she's got this whole little runway area set up over here. I can put the walls down now. And if you were interested, um, I can let you know, we live at 19 Culpepper House, and our, our mailbox is this one right here. No, this one right here. No none of those because it's in build mode right um we have we're stuck with the needs tlc um lot traits but i also made it a quick zone because that's just fun and i was just in california last month or two months ago so it's kind of fun just kind of incorporating that and we also have fast internet because we can't have all bad things and let's face it kiara needs the internet this is ours this one down here kiara needs the internet to be able to play her video games but anyways, that is the little intro to my new series. So I think first off, I'm going to go ahead and get these girls to join their new careers. Um, I already told you I want Kiara to join the social media career. And I have decided that Gwen would be better suited in the critic career. So I did this because she wants to be a famous fashion designer someday, but she's got to start small. And she just moved to the city, but she knows she's got a great sense of, you know, many things. Arts and music and just she's got it all right she has her opinion and she knows what's good and she knows what's not so uh, sims who feel they have superior judgment can enter the critic career whether it's the foods or the arts your sim will have something to say about it and others will listen career branches are the arts critic and the food critic i think we would probably go into the arts with her but that's the profession she is going to accept and kiara let's go ahead and have you join the social media oh Work assignment, level up writing skill. Should Gwyn uh, get a jump on, oh my goodness. Should Gwyn Brahas uh, get a jump start and accept the assignment? Yes, she needs to work on her writing skill. She might need a little computer. Darn it, well you know what, I had a little, well I had this little, I'll get her a computer. I'll get her a computer when we have enough money. Uh, but for now she'll have to share uh, 
Kiara's. All right, so Kiara's going to join the social media. What's trending? Where's the best food in town? Who's the most interesting celebrity? Start a career in social media Become to be the person that answers these questions for their followers. Blog and check in at venues to keep followers coming back for more. Career branches, internet personality, and public relations. That is what we are going to do. All right. So, Gwen, why don't you come on over here and... Ooh. <gasps> Should, okay, what do we need to do? Create social media profile. Yes. Let's do Kiara's first because I feel like that's going to be easiest. Social networking. Create your profile. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's our neighbor. Gita. Rasoyo. Rasoyo. Oh my gosh. Why do we... Oh, you know what? All of our neighbors literally hate us because they showed up for our welcome party and brought fruitcake and I didn't let any of them in. I was too busy making uh, one of our girls a romantic interest with our third character. So they all just eventually went away and now they all hate us. But that's great, right? I mean, we got off to a great start and... You know, our own relationships can only go up from here. But uh, Kiara's created a new social media profile. Nobody can go anywhere in the social media sphere if they don't have an online presence. That is true. All right. Use your social media profile to gain followers, grow your network, and become an online powerhouse. All right, Gwen, you got to use this over here, please. Come over here and, ooh, <gasps> practice writing first. Your skills are too low to do anything else. And, um, why don't you, why don't you play an online game? We have fast internet. Play Party Frenzy with Hajar. I think Hajar is one of our neighbors as well. <gasps> Gwen got a writing skill. Way to go, Gwen. Oh, look at her little brain. Is, oh my goodness, look at both of them. Both of them have little, little light bulbs and pluses coming out of their brains. That's cute. All right, yeah. let's take a look at Kiara over here, mashing those buttons. All right. You're really getting into this, girl. I'm a little concerned. All right. All right. Put the walls back down. I would like to go somewhere probably in this part. We've got about 10 minutes left. And I think... I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Their rooms... Uh, Kiara's room just looks so big and bare and empty compared to uh, Gwyn's. But... If we like squished all this stuff in the same amount of space, it'd be like the same and I spent a very similar amount of money on them. It's just that Gwendolyn does not have a computer in her room. So Kiara is still playing that game. I hope she's winning. <gasps> Fast internet from lock traits. No lag here. The connection speed is so good. Sims are pumped to do more. I'm jealous. My internet is slower than molasses. I swear. It's horrible. People complain about it taking over an hour to upload. My videos literally take I have to upload them okay I upload them when I go to work in the morning at eight o'clock and I'm lucky if they're done before I get home at five it's just ridiculous it takes all day even when no one is here taking up bandwidth it's just ridiculous all right zap room D what dag dag here to demolish the competition in a in a display of virtual mastery no one will be calling her a noob anytime soon that is my girl all right, what you doing? Oh, she's going to the bathroom. Excuse me, sorry. I suppose we should probably try to make something, huh? Let's check out this stove. Let's uh, serve dinner. We're gonna do, oh my gosh. Can I just regular cook? Pan de muerto, is that new? Oh, it's vegetarian safe, I forgot. We have to cook vegetarian food for her. Dang, okay. Uh, Have dinner, serve dinner. Um. Vegetarian safe. Optional. Alright, only these two. Let's just make grilled cheese. I think it's a great, great start. And I think if these girls complete their aspirations, I'm totally fine with uh, starting them on new aspirations. And I think if one of them did the grilled cheese one, I would be so happy because I've never done that one before. I've never played around with that. I know how to unlock it, but acquired the cooking skill and uh, looks like Gwen is still working on her writing skill just a bit. She's super energized. When did she do push-ups? Oh, she wants to do push-ups. Well, come over here, exercise, and do some push-ups. Oh, she's energized from the fast internet. Oh, okay, it makes them want to get up and move. That's kind of the opposite of what internet usually does. If you've got great connection, you want to sit and play, right? That's what I would want to do. How is your grilled cheese coming, sweetheart? Gonna flip it. Oh, 
she, oh, 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 that's, that's embarrassing. Good thing Gwendolyn didn't see it. <laughs> and she puts the plate right in front of all the dirty dishes. Oh, no. All right, when do you go to work, honey? All right, she made her social media profile, and that was her work from home assignment. So from what I've very briefly read about the new um, careers that came with this pack, it was the media... In, no, the social media, the critic, and the politics career. And uh, each of them have these little take-home assignments that are optional. So it's not exactly like get to work where you got to go and do everything with them, but they do have assignments that get you out and you get to do with them if you want to. So it's kind of like a hybrid type thing is what I think they are. I don't know. That's what I think. That's what I understood it was, but I really didn't read too much into it because I wanted to just experience this and it's fun. And I gave them this box of cooking stuff because when I lived in my apartment and I came home from a weekend at my parents, I always just had boxes of like cleaning supplies and like boxes of food sitting by my kitchen area because I didn't have enough cupboard space to put them all away. So that's why I did that. And they just moved in. So... To be fair, it's a little understandable. All right, how are you doing? Uh, she wants to watch Super Kids Cortex Catastrophe. Can we do anything for social media from her phone? Let's see. Let's just check it out. Uh, take a vacation day? No. We're not going to do that. Can we move household, take vacation, travel? Um, I don't think we can actually do anything with her social media yet. That's a bummer. Gwen reached writing level two. You Perfect. Gwen, you can stop playing that. Go do your push-ups because I know you want to. Then you might as well pee and you might as well eat some grilled cheese because why not, right? Then I think I might end this part pretty soon. No, don't do either of those things. Come over here. Oh, she's not energized anymore. Never mind. Go use the bathroom. Go ahead and grab a serving of grilled cheese. Ooh, someone's super playful. All right, she's Party Game Pro from Winning Party Frenzy. All right. Queen of the Virtual Hill. Can we play... Can we play a different game other than Party Frenzy? Is that an option we can buy some of those? I'd like to get our girls out. Let's just take a look at what's around us. Ooh, these fire escapers. They're so cool. All right, I'm just taking a look at the buildings and stuff around us. Looks like we've got a little walkway or tram over there. And we've got a moving cars i miss that so much look at we're just by this bridge <gasps> this is gorgeous you guys look at this this is right outside our apartment and then we've got this all right we're in the spice district so we've got this place i kind of want to go over here i think in the next part we're going to go and check that out i think that would be fun oh look at they're both both hanging out in the kitchen together now let's go ahead and bring this over here who uh, do you guys think we should have learn the keyboarding skill diligently i think it's just kind of there for fun at this point but i don't know it was in the apartment when we moved in and it looked fun and cool and new so i wanted to keep it but kiara wants to be mischievous she wants to give apartment key and she wants to evangelize vegetarian benefits with another sim all right can we do that <gasps> Ask question. Oh, no, that's that's the movie stuff. Okay. All right. Friendly. Um, evangelize. Did I, am I saying this right? Evangelize vegetarian benefits. Go for it, girl. Ooh, who's calling you? <gasps> Jordan Huntley. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Oh, <gasps> thanks, Jordan. <laughs> oh, I love Jordan. All right. Uh, go in. Gwendolyn agrees. Maybe vegetarianism isn't as intimidating as she thought. Gwen might just grab a bite to see what it's all about. Girl, you're already eating grilled cheese. I figured she wouldn't make a very good, uh, oh, I should probably turn those off. <laughs> all right, I figured uh, she wouldn't make a very good critic if she was a vegetarian because it kind of limits what she can eat. But uh, it's totally fine. I like that they finally brought that back. Oh, they're watching a black and white movie. This is us. This is us. Oh. Oh, now we're going to watch, like... Oh, is this supposed to be The Bachelorette, basically? Oh, they're kissing on the couch. Oh, now they're kissing in the hot tub. That's a different guy. Oh, my goodness. Goodness? Goodness. 
that woman is just getting around. And now she's got to pick. Who's she going to pick? I think she's going to pick this. Not him. Him. Not him. Not that guy. Oh my gosh. Is that the... What? Did you guys see that? Did the Grim Reaper just come and kill that guy and then took his place? That's so weird. Look at We have a little mousel. I've never actually watched that. Oh my goodness. Alright, chat with Kiara. She wants to buy a hot tub. Maybe we can fit one. That would be fun if we could fit a hot tub up here. I don't know if we actually can fit one, but it would be fun. Eventually, maybe someday. Oh no, we don't have a oh, we don't have that nice garbage can either. We only have 106 simoleons. Okay. We're gonna have to start making money. When do you have to go to work? Nine hours. And you go to work in twelve. Okay. She has to work at 6 a.m., but she only works 6 to 11. That's not bad. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end this part here. Probably just going to send them both to bed so they can wake up early, and in the next part, we'll send them off to work, and then we will go ahead and explore some place in the town. So thank you all so much for watching. This was part number one of my Sims for get to, uh, not get together. Nope. This is city living LP and, uh, stay tuned because the next part should be up sometime shortly after this one. Sometime today, I think. That's what I'm thinking. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Terranova and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye guys.